I'm Melissa Rose here at Mets Camp, and I'm going to go check in with some of our minor league prospects. First spring training, what was it like stepping on to the facility for the first time? Uh, it was good. Uh, last year, after I got dra or after our college season ended in Omaha, uh, I flew down to Port St. Lucie for like one or two days, got to see the facility. It was really cool. But this is my first time in a spring training environment. Um, it's really, really, really fun. Uh, you know, I'm getting better. That's the that's the cool thing. You know, you, you get here and uh, kind of you know trying to you're a little sped up, trying to slow everything down because you know it's just it's just the same game. But uh, getting around all these guys, uh, it's fun because you get to compete against you know your your own teammates that you want to see do well, but uh, also you know try to outwork them every day. And it's uh, it's just a cool environment you're in. What specifically specifically have you been working on since you got down here? Well, in college, you know, uh, I was a I got a lot of base hits, but it, it was uh, not as much as, as you know driving the ball. So uh, this off season, I really took into uh, you know weight training as much as I could. Uh, not just trying to throw on weight, but try to throw on the right weight, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And um, you know more efficient movements in my swing and more consistent uh, you know consistent uh, setup to get in a good hitting position. And I think I've done that, and uh, you know I'm just trying to grow for that. Is there anyone specific that you've been working with since you've been down here that's really helped you? Yeah, actually in the offseason hit with Trey Hannum. Uh, they, they just hired him as a minor league hitting coach, so it actually worked out crazy. I was hitting with him a little bit, and he calls me and says, hey, the Mets just hired me. So it was like, oh, okay, well, that's even better. I get to hit with him here at spring training. And, uh, and, and my dad. Uh, my dad knows my swing better than anybody. So uh, my dad and uh, just trying to continue to grow. Has your dad gotten down here at all yet? No, no, uh, he won't come. Uh, he didn't miss a scene. He missed one game in college uh, out of my four years. Missed one game my junior year. I went 0 for 5 and we lost to McNeese State on a Tuesday night game. And uh, he said, hey, won't miss another game because it was such a bad night. And uh, he came up to Brooklyn once, saw two games. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, he won't come down to spring training though. Next time I'll see him, will probably be in the season somewhere wherever I get um, report to, and he'll come for a couple, a couple times. Okay. Awesome. So you talk a little about college. College season's underway. What is it like for you now to be here watching your old team? Man, it's weird. Um, you know, I'm part of Mississippi State for a long time, but uh, I'm watching them. They're five and one right now, playing well. Um, they lost uh, Sunday to Oregon State, so that was a tough one. But they won the series, so it was a good series win. They just got to keep playing better and get better. Awesome. Do you feel when you're watching them, like you have any extra like sense of accomplishment or sense of pride? Like I was there, now I'm here. You know, it, my my biggest thing is is being there for so long, and you know, and you know, it was a really old team last year, but it's the old team this year too at Mississippi State. So the big thing is I want those guys to take ownership of the team. Uh, this is their chapter, their story, and uh, it's it's those older guys on the team to kind of take over and and really you know kind of make their imprint on the program. I guess you could say, you know, really take the reins and and lead them in the right direction. Awesome. And when you think about the 2020 season that's coming up and your ultimate goal, where do you see yourself at the end of this year? Hey, I want to just get better every day. If I get better every day, I'm doing something right. And uh, I, I know I belong here. And, I, and ultimate, my ultimate goal is to be a big leaguer. And I, and I know that's what I can be. So just got to keep working in that direction and uh, you know, just get better. That's all. Dakota Hudson was our ace my freshman year at college and uh, he pitched for the Cardinals that day so it was cool to see that and uh, believe it or not he was actually my first fall of my freshman year in college he was my first collegiate base hit oh, yeah. so he's on the mound and I was like please let him be my first big league spring training hit I was dying to hit off of him but uh, he texted me after the game it was cool it was a cool day awesome you know it's just it's where you want to be